What's good, YouTube? You feel me? Your boy's back, the realist. Yes, sir. All right. So I post this, uh, some questions, basically anything I wanted me to answer on my Instagram and Twitter. And now I'm finna come back. I'm finna hit, shoot, get with y'all with the Q&A video. Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault, my bad. I'm gonna get with y'all with a QA and a video. I'm just responding back to some of your uh, questions and stuff. You feel me? I know, as you guys know, I play football at Fresno State. So basically the first question somebody had, um, they were asking me what position I play. So I play defensive tackle. I'm going, I'm actually going into my sophomore year. So yeah, I played as a true freshman. I snapped a 25 year long record. Um, I started my first game. I was a starter last season. I actually just earned uh, freshman of the year. Hold on, let me, let me show y'all guys real quick. So we right here. I actually earned uh, freshman of the year last year. You feel me? We're right here. You feel me? I just got this the other day. Big accomplishment for me. You know, my plan's always been to do a three and out. Um, we went to a bowl game last year. So this is our bowl ring right here. Came back from a one and four. Losing streak came back when I think it was nine or ten games straight. You feel me? So we have one of the longest active winning streaks in college football right now here at our state. We get won the Mountain West Championship as well. So this is our Mountain West Championship ring right here. You feel me? Got some cool little details on it. This shit hard. It's my first ever ring. Unfortunately, I was never able to earn a ring in high school. But <clears throat> you feel me? Everything happens for a reason. Freshman year, earned one. Let me throw these on for you real quick. Let me show you what I'm looking like. You feel me? First two of many. You got many to come. It's just the start. Really looking forward to it. So let me put these up real quick. Give me a second. Give me a second. There you go. I think we still have our actual bowl game ring coming in. So that should be coming in. I don't know when, but we get it when we get it. You feel me? So that was cool. And freshman of the year. So that, uh, my favorite part about playing is playing for state. I would have to say my favorite part is like the connections I build between everybody here, the community. I love it. I mean, I'm only four hours away from home. So I'm from, originally I'm from SoCal, I'm in the Valley. I went to Corona Centennial right here. You feel me? So I love it. Just Coach Teddy is a great coach. Coach Franklin, they're amazing, phenomenal coaches. They've helped me out the most. And yeah, my diet. So I really don't have like a super strict diet or nothing. I'm not diet crazy. I know I have to maintain a certain weight. So right now I'm maintaining between 295 and 300. That's the weight they want me to just like stay in between them, I guess. So they don't want me to come up too high or too low from that. So my diet, I pretty much, they feed us. We get protein shakes after our lift. They make sure we get breakfast. In the morning, I like to eat some egg bites. I have two egg bites, um, two tangerines, and I'll probably down some chocolate milk or a fruit cup of yogurt or something like that. That's a good one. Who's someone since you've moved out of Fresno that's made an impact on your life? Oh, there's a lot of people that come in my life and made a big impact. But I probably have to say, honestly, it'll be, it'll definitely have to be my coaches, Coach Taffer and Coach Franklin. They, they're the reason I'm here. They gave me the opportunity to even come to college, come expand on life and just blossom, I guess. So they helped me get to this point. Um, any advice for those coming into college to play sports? <clears throat> Be ready to work. Come with that work ethic. I know um, coming out of high school, my work ethic had to be crazy. Um, that 
just be ready to work. Be confident in who you are. Be confident in your ability. Don't be afraid to get extra work in when your teammates are leaving the field. If you want to stay after, get some work in. Just be confident in yourself and just be ready. I mean, mentally be prepared because it's definitely a change from high school. All right. What's the most I would do for $20? I mean, I've been in hard places in my life. Uh, I'm not going to say I would do anything crazy for $20. I've had to do things, um, nothing crazy. Like sometimes when to help like get food or something, I have to do, go do Instacart or something like that. Just nothing too crazy, though. It was $20 is not hard to come by. What has college taught me that high school didn't? College taught me, I mean, this is my first off season in college. People come and go, really. So you may be with this person all season long, thinking everything's fine. Then all of a sudden, they're they're transferring out. You know, it'd be close friends. My guy LP, who's at um, Colorado now, I got close with him during season. Then after season, unexpectedly, I didn't know if he was gonna hit. He just hit the transfer portal, and now he's off to do bigger and better things, essentially. Yeah. Um. What's my skincare or go-to outfit? So I wash my face usually after practice. We take showers. So I like to wash my face with uh, CeraVe. I'm going to put a picture of it right here. So I like to wash my face with that. Um, basically, just wash my face pretty much, honestly. Uh, my go-to outfit. Mm. Mm. I, don't, I wouldn't say I really have a go-to outfit. I do have an outfit like... I wear pretty often, I would say. I'm going to throw a picture up right here, too. So, I have an outfit I wear pretty often. Um, got some relationship sizes. Is a girl with a lot of guy friends a red flag? Um, It depends on how long she knew those friends for. Is she just getting with them all of a sudden? Like, once y'all get together, like, is she branching out to go meet guy friends, supposedly? Um... I would say if you're confident in yourself, you know what you got, don't put all your eggs in one basket. I would never do that. So don't give your all, expecting to fall in love off the jump. I would never do that personally. So I would say it's not a red flag as long as you're confident in yourself. Who is the person you got the closest with from Centennial and why? I have to give a shout out to my boy Daylin. He's the closest I got with at Centennial. Um, ever since I went there my sophomore year, that's when I first met him. Mm. I still talk to him today. That's like my brother now. Um, we were to a point in my life where we had to live together. So my mom, me and my mom, him and his family, we all lived, got a place together in uh, Corona. We were living together for like a, pretty much almost all through high school. I was pretty much living with uh, my boy Daylon. So that's probably the closest I've got. What's my favorite thing about college football? My favorite thing about college football are travel days and game days. That's the funnest to me. Like coming out, coming down the stadium, coming down the ramp, seeing all the lights, seeing the fans. I love pregame. The energy, the intensity is all there. It's just the thrill is crazy. How's college slash football? Shit. College is cool. I wouldn't say it's a big difference from high school. I kind of miss high school a little bit, I, like just the lifestyle part. Football is always good. I'm always doing good. I'm always striving to do better, um, working hard each and every day. But, but life, football, it's been good. You feel me? It, you know, everything has its ups and downs with mental health, getting over things, you know, being homesick, not having people to talk to, maybe like – um Stuff like that. It has its ups and downs. But it's never too bad. Mm. Was running the stadium hard? Actually, last year, I didn't even run the stadium. I didn't have a chance to run the stadium. Um, it was kind of crazy. Just uh, a unfortunate turn of events, to be honest. I wasn't able to run the stadium. Uh, I got injured. But I was able to come back. It was a minor injury. But we ran the stadium this next Friday. And boy... I watched everybody run the stadium, man. It, it looked hard. Is conditioning in college hard compared to high school? Conditioning in college is, 
I would say it's hard if you're not in shape. If you're in shape and you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing, getting extra work. Like my cousin, Coach Jackson, used to always tell me, stay stay in shape so you don't ever have to get in shape. So if you stay in shape consistently year-round, it's not that bad. What kind of dog do I have? I have an American bully. Uh, his name's Ghost. I have a picture of him right here. You feel me? I just got him like a month ago. That's my boy. How I'm feeling about our D-line. Our D-line, we looking great. You feel me? You got my boy Johnny. You got me. We got new. We got my boy Isaiah. We got my boy Devo. We got we got depth now. So we're looking really good this year. I'm excited to get the season started. My biggest inspiration, um, I would say my biggest inspiration is probably my boy Aaron Donald, who I actually have up on the wall up here, you feel me? That's probably my biggest inspiration, but I'm more, I don't, I wouldn't say I really get inspired. I'm more like strongly motivated just from my family, from my grandpa, my mom, shout outs to moms. I'm a, they strongly, they motivate me to be the man who I am today. Um, then also my passion just to like succeed. I feel like I have a crazy work ethic and like failure. I know everybody says you learn from your mistakes. It's okay to fail. I agree with that, but I, once you fail, you always have to get back up. So once I fail one time, that makes me want to work even harder and harder to get it done. Mm, where do I see myself in five years? In five years, I see myself in the league. You feel me? Playing in the NFL, having a house. I wouldn't. I'm probably not a family yet. Um, yeah, definitely not a family yet. I'm too young. <laughs> I want to be able to travel the world and everything while I'm still finishing up. But in five years, I'm excited for the future. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Just a whole new array of opportunities and experiences. You know, coming from Fresno State, having backgrounds. So I'm excited for, to be in the NFL, then I'm also uh, excited to get into the business side of things and being able to expand and build. And uh, in five years, I want to be able to have basically my life set, not having to worry about anything, have my mom out of debt, have my mom in the house. You feel me? That's what I want to do. How tall I am? I'm 6'3". You feel me? That's uh, Fresno State. Where I get my tax firm, so... I got a couple tattoos, you feel me? I got my whole, whole arm tatted, I actually do. I just got this this past season. It says everything happens for a reason. I live by that. I got my tats for my guy, Big Jake, back in Reno Valley. I go ahead and tag him on the screen right now. And yeah. Mm. You guys you guys wanna see more car content? I got y'all, you feel me? So if y'all didn't know, I have a white body scat pack right now. I know, it's kinda crazy. Uh, I got it for my 18th birthday present, so just like welcome to college. You're finally 18. Last year I played mainly being 17. This I'm 18. My birthday is November 13th, so I can definitely get you guys with more con card content. Let me know what you guys want to see. I do a little daily dr drive of me, something like that. I'll definitely hit you back with that. Man, that's pretty much all the questions you guys have for me. Um, really appreciate the support. Really, honestly, looking forward to the season. Looking forward to growing with this channel. And yeah, just excited for the future. Really appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm tapping with y'all later.